hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well on this gloomy october 1st hopefully this lighting is okay it's a little dark in here not as bright as usual but i still think it looks like decent so today i'm doing a little bit of an older youtube video and i'm going to be doing kind of like an autumn favorites or i guess this is more of like my autumn essentials this is just going to be things that i either have already been loving this fall or products and things that i know i'm going to use a lot this fall i just thought this would be fun honestly so yeah i'm going to do it there are how many categories there are four categories and they are skincare makeup style slash fashion and then miscellaneous which is just random things that i've been liking this fall or that i think i'm going to really like this fall so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video so as we transition into the colder months at least where i live it's gonna get pretty cold pretty soon it's already happening that it dropped like 10 degrees and my lips are like dry as anything i don't know if this happens to anyone else but like i get these bumps all over my lips and they get so dry whenever there's like a change in temperature when it gets like even a little bit colder and so that's kind of happening to my lips right now if i were to zoom in it would be really gross <laughs> but there's just like bumps everywhere and it's not cute and it's like dry anyway i have four skincare products the first product being this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I got the mini size. This was a free sample from Sephora. Not free, like I used my points. I needed a new moisturizer because my sister took my moisturizer with her all the way to art school in London. So Emily, if you're watching this, thank you so much for taking my CeraVe. Anyway, um, I picked up this moisturizer just because I wanted to try a new one. I love my CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. It works really well for me in the summer, in the winter, whatever, but I just wanted to try something new. And like I said, I've been getting, I have like really dry skin and I've been getting like those dry bumps on my lips. And then also around my nostrils, it gets really like red and inflamed and kind of painful. And this might be like kind of gross to some of you, but whatever. I took like a Q-tip and I just like put a little bit around my nostril, like where it was really dry and painful. And the next day when I woke up, it was gone. So I'm going to keep this around for when I have like super dry moments like that. But I've been really impressed with this so far and it's been working really well. And I know I'm going to use it a lot. Okay, next up we have this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Probably no surprise to you guys. I use this all the time in my videos and I just love it. I wear this in the morning, in the night, before I do my makeup, whenever. Um, I'm almost out, which is actually kind of exciting because I want to try a different scent or flavor. But yeah, this is like an essential in the fall and winter time. And then it is that time of year when I have to throw a hand cream in my purse. I got this at Target. This is the Love Beauty and Planet hand cream. And this is in the scent Moru Moru Butter and Rose. It just smells really good. I always get compliments when I wear this. They're like, oh, you smell so good. It's almost like a perfumey smell. So if you don't like that strong, like rose perfume smell, you might not like this. And honestly, I usually don't like the like rose scents, but this smelled really good. And I'm just going to throw it in my purse because I, again, have dry skin. A reoccurring theme you'll see throughout this video but i have very dry skin and when it gets colder out my hands get so dry and so this is going to be a skincare essential for sure and last but not least for skincare we have an exfoliator because i have dry skin that's the last time i'm going to say that i have dry skin i promise i'm not going to mention it again this is the tree hut tahitian vanilla bean shea sugar scrub i picked this up from ulta I had never really been one to use like body exfoliators, but um, I've been using this and I'm really happy with it. I haven't really seen like too much of a difference, but my skin hasn't been like super, super dry in the summer. So I think I'm going to get a lot more use out of this for the fall and winter time. Okay, so now moving on to makeup, I have five products. The first one I'm just gonna get out of the way because it's probably like boring for you guys, but it is my Tartlet in Bloom palette from Tarte. I think this is just such a perfect everyday palette as well as a fall palette. It has some nice kind of deeper fall shades in there, but I still use this almost every single day. And I know for a fact I'm going to use it so much this fall. So Tartlet in Bloom palette, 
definitely a autumn essential. And then another one that I picked is this Undone Beauty blush. It is a cream blush and it is in the shade Rosewood. It is just a gorgeous kind of deeper fall shade. It's almost like a brown burgundy color. I'm wearing it today. I just think this is like the perfect fall blush. I know a lot of people when they think of cream products they probably think of like summertime but i like wearing cream products all year round so this color is kind of like one of the only fall deeper blushes i have in my collection so i'm definitely going to get so much use out of this and then this is fairly new to me but i am already obsessed with it i've worn it twice it's on my eyelids today but this is the charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize in the shade oyster pearl and i'm noticing a typo they spelled mesmerize with an s at the end like r-i-s-e but on the website it said r-i-z-e so i'm just wondering you know how they how they are intending to spell it anyway this is in the shade oyster pearl and it is just this gorgeous kind of like bronzy shade it looks like it would be kind of like more of a brown in the pot but then you put it on your eyes and there's like some gold in there it's really really pretty and it's perfect for like kind of like a one and done look you just want to like throw something on your lids move on with your life <laughs> which is me most of the time so yeah this is just what i I'm going to be wearing so much. I think it's like the perfect everyday shade, especially for fall, because it's like not necessarily just like a neutral shimmer. There's like definitely some gold in there, something a little more autumnal, if you know what I mean. And then we have three lip products that I know I'm going to be wearing so much this fall. And the first one is this Rare Beauty Matte Lip Souffle in the shade Brave. And it's a lot more vibrant than i was expecting like when i put it on i was like wow that's orange but there's something so unique about it i think this will be nice for those days where i want to wear a lip product but i'm also going to be wearing a mask because it's i know it's like not completely transfer transfer proof or anything like that but i don't usually wear matte lip colors i'm usually like a gloss kind of girl but i feel like having a product like this in my rotation is going to be nice like a nice switch up because when i do wear masks at least there'll be something on my lips when i take my mask back off so yeah this is the rare beauty matte lip souffle in brave and then surprise surprise the tower 28 glosses have made a return in another video but these are absolutely amazing and i think these shades cashew and almond are so fall this one is a little more of like a dusty pinky nudey brown and this one is more of like a true brown like a chocolatey brown is how they describe it i know like for the most part, I'm just going to be wearing these around the house because masks, you know, wearing lip gloss and mask doesn't really, they don't, they don't work well together, but I have done it before and there's, there's literally no point. But yeah, I'm just going to be wearing these like in videos around the house. They are so moisturizing and nourishing. And so, yeah, I have no problem wearing these around the house and just for my own use and enjoyment <laughs> okay and now we are getting into style and fashion which isn't really my realm i'm not the most you know fashionable person out there but i do enjoy style and fashion i guess so the first things i want to talk about are earrings so i guess we'll talk about the ones that i'm wearing now these are just some very lightweight hoops that i found on amazon i actually found them through like a tiktok and the person was just saying how amazing and lightweight they are and so i bought them they were only like 10 or 12 dollars they just look really nice and i feel like they make your outfit look really classy they're just a great everyday hoop so yeah i'm definitely going to be wearing these earrings a lot and then also these little hoops they are slightly smaller i don't know if you can tell but these are from my friend lila's business marhaba vintage these are just like amazing quality i'm pretty sure these amazon ones are like cheap i mean they're only ten dollars but i these earrings like if you want good quality gold hoops definitely check out my friend lila's business i kind of want to switch and like wear these for the rest of it <laughs> why not you can just see the size of them 
They're so cute, I love them. Please ignore the fact that these are a little bit dirty and muddy, but I'm not someone who like obsesses over keeping white sneakers clean. Like I will wear these when it's raining, whatever. But anyway, these are some Reebok sneakers. I got these, I think they're like the Urban Outfitters edition. What are they called? Reebok Classics. Last year when I was still at Tech, I was at a dining hall and I think he was a professor, but I was like waiting in line to check out or to like get my food and he comes up behind me and he's like, Reebok Classics, nice. And I was like, thanks. I don't know, I guess these are like an old school shoe, but I just think they're really cool. They're really like, kind of gives that chunky white sneaker vibe without actually being super chunky. Fila's like they're a good in-between shoe I guess if you want to get into like that chunky kind of dad shoe vibe that's still really stylish. I wear them all the time and I love them and I know this fall I'm going to wear them so much and white sneakers go with everything. And last but not least for style we have this Levi's coat that I thrifted. I am obsessed with this thing. Every fall I break it out and I just like feel so cool. It is just this black like corduroy coat and then it has this fuzzy inside. It's super warm and I think it just looks really nice. Um, it's just like the perfect fall coat in my opinion. So if I can find it, I will link it down below, but I'm pretty sure this is like a very old jacket. Yeah, so this is just says Levi's coat in the size medium. I don't even know if this is women's. It might be a men's coat but I'm obsessed with it. Okay, and now we have four miscellaneous items. This lighting got like weird. Hopefully that lighting is a little better. I'm sorry, it's just so cloudy outside. Four miscellaneous items. These are just random fall items that I have been loving recently. And the first one being these face masks. These popped up on an Instagram or like a Facebook ad for me. And then I just like, fell for it and bought them because they were cute, but I've been really liking them. They're just these reusable face masks. I got this pink color, of course, um, then this like floral black and white one, then this floral pink one, and then this kind of tan and black polka dot. I love them so much and I love how it's like stretchy. They're really comfortable and they're just great. If I can find the um, ad that I bought them from, I will link them down below for you guys. I just have been wearing these so much and I feel like having cute face masks is actually so much fun. Like it's another part of my outfit. It's like, okay, what face mask will match with this outfit? What face mask do I want to wear today? So yeah, I've been really loving these. Okay, and then we have this candle. This is, not only is it just like shaped cute, but I genuinely love the smell. It says it's in the scent pumpkin spice, but it's more like a pumpkin vanilla candle. It just is so good. I got this from Target. I didn't hit up Bath & Body Works this year and get any of their like fall candle scents, which I usually do, but that one has been, you know, doing just fine. I've been perfectly happy with my Target pumpkin candle. Okay, and then we have this nail polish from Essie and this is in the shade Not So Low Key. It's your classic fall burgundy nail polish. I'm just going to be wearing it constantly this fall. I just know it. I should have probably painted my nails for this video. That would be cool if I could, you know, show you guys <laughs> the color, but it's just, trust me when I say it's like your classic fall burgundy. It's just so pretty, so fall. Maybe I'll do one nail so I can show you guys. With two coats, it would probably be a little bit deeper, but it's just your classic burgundy shade. I love it. And then last but not least, <laughs> on my miscellaneous fall essentials, I found this playlist on Spotify called Songs That Make Me Feel Like I'm in a Teenage Movie. It's insanely good. I love it so much and I will link it down below, but the person, the account who made it is called Nicole underscore Molina. I highly encourage you guys to listen to that playlist. It just makes me feel so good and so happy. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this autumn essentials video. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video because I would love to do this seasonally, just like favorites or essentials, I guess I'm going to call this. I hope you all are having an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.